so it's Saturday evening it's 5 09 p.m. I'm just about to heat up my dinner I'm currently cleaning my glasses because they are somehow always really dirty and they get I guess pretty oily pretty often no matter how much or how often I clean them out um, I am having Panda Express for dinner I had purchased it earlier today um, I'm just gonna reheat it now and I had a coupon slash reward for it which was really nice and the cost of it ended up being pretty affordable for the size that I got I'm really excited I've been craving Panda Express for some time to excuse the mess in my kitchen I wanted to show you guys what I ordered for my dinner express I mentioned there was a coupon that I had um, because they have a rewards app and let's see got some napkins fortune cookie so I ordered the string bean chicken uh, they were cooking it when I arrived for my uh, mobile order pickup so they put it in this little container it's so cute and I really like the string bean and just grab a napkin for my plate I think this is the bigger plate I don't really know the sizes but I ordered the chow mein and the honey walnut shrimp which um, is one of my favorite proteins at uh, Panda Express and then I also got the honey sesame chicken which looks really delicious as well I've been craving some chow mein so this is gonna hit the spot for sure I wanted to show you guys the beverage I'm going to have my dinner with I'm having the Kin Euphorics Kin Bloom Beaming Joy uh, caffeine free drink which um, I wanted to try I've only ever tried uh, the one with caffeine that's like red and purple and then I've also tried the uh, purple and blue like nighttime one this one doesn't have caffeine which is great I don't really want caffeine right now and this one has the Shizandra Damiana and Elthanine. Um, it says, inspired by your favorite all day rose, only dreamier, a glittering fusion of summer strawberry, barrel oak, and rosemary citrus, like a warm embrace with your toes in the sand. So I'm gonna have this over some ice and I'll let you know how I like it. This cup is so cute. I love using it for lattes whenever I make like a matcha latte or a coffee. In this case, I just wanted to use it for pouring over this uh, Kin Euphoric drink. I'm gonna add a couple more ice cubes. looks really refreshing I really hope that it does taste like strawberry and I'm gonna do a taste test now it's actually very good it tastes a lot like a very floral strawberry almost like a rose taste um, thinking the Damiana, I think is the flower maybe could be wrong it has a uh, bourbon vanilla which I definitely taste since it's kind of like floral a little creamy a little sweet but also fruity and then it has um, hibiscus extract rosemary which I do taste orange white grape juice uh, carbonated water and then it's got the ashwagandha, which is nice. So I'm really enjoying this. I definitely would repurchase for a really chill Friday, Saturday night that I don't want to drink. I'm very curious as to what my fortune is going to be. So let's see. My fortune says 
You know what you want, now go out and get it. I wanted to talk about my bangs I'm growing my bangs out and I know for anyone that's ever grown their bangs out it's a pretty big deal especially for those of us that have had bangs for pretty much all our lives or you know so it feels like all our lives I actually got bangs right after high school uh, just starting college and I feel like they have been so uh, Pretty much they've been my entire personality after high school and starting college i decided to get bangs and i've maintained them this entire time probably about almost um 10 years now almost and just recently i've been thinking if i grow my bangs out or what is my face gonna look like without bangs and i know it's not the end of the world it's not even a big deal but uh, just being someone that had bangs for a long time really excited just because I'm figuring out whether I like it or not and I've had a lot of times where I've said it you know for two months straight I'm growing my bangs out I'm done no more bangs and just end up cutting them again so I get so frustrated I just cannot have my bangs anywhere near my eyes at that point it's too long for me and even considering splitting my hair in half and just putting it on the sides like I am now. I've always thought that it's not a look that looks good on me. Um, so I've been really feeling more confident lately just trying to pull this hairstyle off. I know it's going to be a hairstyle that I'm going to be wearing very often the next, I would say, four to five months until maybe my bangs get somewhere close to, you know, my chin, hopefully. And from there, I'll consider what I'm going to do next. But I am um, excited to document this and I think right now my bangs are probably hitting somewhere like above the eye. So above the eye is okay. It's not too long and also not too short, but at this point I'm letting them grow out and hopefully I don't regret this and if I do I'm sure I'll be able to cut them again, but that's kind of just the update I wanted to give. Um, but yeah, I am excited to see what that looks like. I think I actually don't really mind this look as much as I thought I did. And I will keep you guys updated on how this journey is going because it's definitely going to be a journey.